Red Rock, all in black. Black trunks, black socks, Daniel Maxwell, white trunks, black trim. And uh, normally very terrible, Daniel Maxwell, Jay Brock, though.
Shane, normally a winner would be smiling, but I saw it up the ground through you being frustrated. What gives? Uh, I just wasn't doing well. Probably shouldn't be continuing to work, but I needed to feel like I should win that, and um, yeah, I just wasn't executing. Just trying to get rid of you in the first round, maybe? Oh, it's not bad. It's just, I think I still have some opportunities, but I just wasn't on there. Well done, Daniel. Well done, Daniel. Well done, I don't know. You've got to give him credit, mate. He's doing his that body of love. He just wouldn't go down. Yeah, well. Brad Devlin, here he is, already waiting for us on the side of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, your auctioneer for the night, Mr. Brad Devlin. Ding, ding, two people. Two people want to buy tickets. I don't know. He's just waiting for him to get the auction out of the way. Good luck, Junior. Yeah, I'm here with Shane, Vader, Channel. Mate, I, I still love that performance. You should be here with Daniel Lennon. It's a massive body shot. Daniel Maxwell is just made out of iron, right? Yeah, he is. Go ahead, Junior. Hey, like to say, full credit for him, man. He's, he's got to be one of the toughest guys you've fought, right? Like, you know, shots. He just yeah. obviously took them, but he didn't go down. Yeah. Well, and not yeah. many people, I don't even know if anyone has put Daniel Maxwell down. He is one tough son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I can never copy him. Oh, one at least. Oh, the second. So tonight, though, no, you know, <laughs> from, from just a layman's point of view, you look yep. great for me tonight, but you maybe not so happy with performance? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's just not, it's a, yeah, I think, well, there's, like, you know, a whole, a lot, a whole lot of um, background things that, like, obviously I don't bring up, I don't want to tell everybody that, you know, I'm trying to get over the flu, I mean, my whole household's sick, so I'm bloody, after that first round, lungs are burning, and, you yeah, know, it's too cool. Yeah, it's just, just, it was hard to kind of, it's kind of hard to think when, you know, when you're, yeah, in that position, but, and as well, I just wasn't executing what we wanted to. Yeah, it might look good, but it's not what we wanted to. Exactly. And as, as only, you go on, sometimes you're your own worst critic. For, for me, you looked awesome, but you know, you're going to judge an analyst in your own way. Come, you only just four, four weeks ago, two against Ray Musson. Is it doing back to back? Does it take its toll uh, doing fighting every three weeks? Definitely takes its toll. I mean, last three months, I've had three fights in the last three months, and um, I told the coach. Um, I'm on having the next couple of months at least you know, just snack a day. We've been, we've been training all year pretty much so it's, you know, it's just hard to... Usually I ask fighters after the fight, you know, what's next, but from the sounds of it, because you put on a freaking amazing performance a month ago for that title, I thought we'd put on a great performance again tonight. Are you going to have a real start for this? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, as well, uh, it sounds like I'm making up a lot of excuses now, but uh, you know, it's Man, like I've had my hands since the um, Ray Musson fight and I've uh, uh, man I've just been seeing doctors seeing the physio get got a clean shot and it's, it's just not coming right so I think I just need to rest it and I mean it's the best thing I have to do. I left my first punch I left hand I threw in the fight, it was just uh, I couldn't put full power behind it. I kept on hitting his elbow which was making it worse. So. Maybe he was placing there, who knows? He's a tough guy, he's a yeah, veteran, yes, he's had yes. oh, countless amount of yeah. fights. And um look. I thought you do it. was awesome getting in front of that many Kiwi fans. So you probably had a few people watching back home on Sky yeah, TV. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so. Um, Maldi yeah. television as well. We've got Glad Rap. And a bit of Maldi commentary as well. I see. Um, yeah, hopefully. I mean, hopefully that comes through. I mean, it's quite fun. You know. And what if, what if people want to get these t-shirts? I've just seen these. I've just seen these tonight. Are they new? I oh, am I giving up the fashion? Head up, my man Owen. Owen for a t-shirt. Yeah, he's mad. All right. I'll sort you out. We'll go on your Facebook. They look good. You look good tonight. Yeah, thanks. And we look forward to you. obviously having a rest, but getting back in again, bro. Yeah, cheers, man. Can I do one question? Listen, it wasn't fun fighting on Sky TV, man. Come on, Joe Parker was in the audience. You yeah, had to enjoy that experience, right? Uh, or I mean, were you like, just thinking of? Yeah, for me, you know, every fight's a fight. You know, we're, we're just in a ring with an opponent and a ref. It's, it's the same thing wherever we go. Yeah. Um, once you're in the ring, you know, you, you know, you're, you're a fighter. You know, once you're in the ring, it's it's just tunnel vision on your opponent. You know, it's what you really focus on. To Josh, when you're fighting, I was like, look at man, he's in his world. This is his world. You're just quite comfortable. Oh, thanks. It's you. Look, look, you love it. No, you just look like you're having a bit of fun, right? You just look and focus. It's just. So you're going to take care of the hand now? What, what do you do about it? Like, uh, I don't know. I'll just have to 
can soak the top pills on there now. Or some specialists, hand specialists, I'm not too sure. Or maybe just need a rest. Teaspoon of cement, I don't know. He's still the champ, bro. He's in my space room. Yeah, man. Cheers. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. So you gonna drop a freestyle yet or what? <laughs> not yet. I gotta practice before I drop it for the champ, right? Yeah. Where's the bell? Oh, no, I don't have a curious. Yeah, I can do it at the gym. Oh, okay. Sort of like, there's a sort of a, a token of appreciation for him. Did you get a chance to bond with Parker? Oh, yeah, he came in for our fight, didn't he, man? Something what did he say? Oh, you know, just has a father type talk, you know? Yeah, you are saying he's briefly kind of put catch up. We I mean, haven't seen him since he's been a champ. <laughs> Did you know him before this? Oh, I can't say we were boys, but he, we, you know, everybody knew Joe. You know, he was the whiz kid. Everyone knows who he is. Okay. And, you know, everybody. Oh, we both fought out like central together and all that. So, yeah. Yeah, so. So you knew his brother as well, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, boxing is tight community, so yeah, everybody knows everyone. Some closer than others. But you're rising too, man. You're rising now, right? I mean. Oh, Getting your name out there, man. It's, yeah. it's, it's good to see you grow, man. Oh, yeah, thanks. it's good to be a part of it, you know? Yeah. 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 Right. Thanks, man.